Usaka pagtuo. Usaka tingog. Usaka katawahan. Cebu Catholic Television Network. Network. Live, gikan sa MTV CCTN News Center. Kini ang balita sa alas 12. Uluhan sa mga balita sa alas 12. Duha ka managlahing sunog ang migo sa dakbayan sa Sugbo kagabi. Mines and Geosciences Bureau ipahunong sa operasyon sa Carmen Kapper. Si Dennis Tabar, kauban sa News ang Puwersa. Sa CCTA News Team, kami matod ka ninyo sa mga balita sa alas 12. Karoon sa detalye sa atong mga balita. Duha ka mga sunog ang miigo sa banaglahing dapit din sa dakbayan sa Sugbo kagabi. Ang unang sunog, miigo sa barangay Punta Prinsesa. Una dawat ang alarma sa kamumiruhan, alas 8.49. Ogda kontrolar kini, alas 9.21. Sigun sa report, ada sunog na panimay, gipanag-iya ni Jodje Fernandez o gipoyaan ni Claire Amora. Matod pa nga unong kabalay ang hingpit kinaugdaw sa antang unong usab ka mga panimay ang napituhan. Mukabat sa kapin 7 million pesos ang gibiling nga danyos. Hinoon way na angol o baka nakalas atol sa sunog din sa pagkakaroon padahin pang gitino ang hinungdan sa sunog. Ay kaduhang alarma sa sunog, migo sa maydan Padilla, barangay Dulho ng siyudad sa Sugbo. Nadawat kini alas 9.4 o na kontrolar paglabay sa 17 minutos. Ang nasunog nga panimay gipanag-iya ni Marilyn Mendoza o Evelyn Buaya. Kapin lang sa 2,000 pesos ang gibiling nga danyos. Huwag na ang ulosab o huwag na kalas o padayin pang gisusi kung sa hinungdan sa sunog. Pagdagkot sa mga bata sa gapas nga gihumol sa alkohol, mo'y gingong hinundan sa sunog sa A.S. Fortuna Elementary School diya sa barangay Giso, Dakbayan sa Mandawi, kagahapon. 80 mil pesos ang gibiling nga danyo sa sunog. Ang kasayuran ihatod ni Mere Rose Sagarino. Duha ka panimay ang naugdaw o sa katunghaan ang naapektuhan sa sunog na nahitabo kagahapon sa AS Fortuna Memorial Elementary School sa barangay Gezo, Siyudad sa Mandawe. Nadawat ang alarma sa kabumbiruhan alas 3.55 sa Udto, gisaka nga sa third alarm alas 4.24 o na fire out alas 4.33 sa Udto. Gibanaban ang moabot sa 80 mil pisos ang gibiling danyo sa sunog. Ang hinungdan sa sunog matod sa kapitan nga base sa inahan o mga nakasaksi, human giragkutan sa duha ka mga anak ni Ine ang gapas nga gihumol sa alkohol nga gilabay-labay nga nasud sa ikaduhang andana sa tunghaan ug tungod na usab sa kasigit sa panimay ug tunghaan. Ganan nato si Gons mga nakasaksi dito. Na kunoy nga bata kuno nagduwa og nang gapas gihumod kuno og alkohol. Giduslitan nagitsa-itsa kuno. Wa man tay nang ginikanan nga naka Monitor ba? Okay. Ngayon talaga kita ako kuwan. Ang warta kayo. Ngayon kurista mo ko nang inahan. Muna yun etabo. Ugang sa kapitan, nga gibanaban ng Enero o Pebrero sunod tuig pa, mahatagan og hinabang ang mga nasunugan. Ang mga nagtag-iya o panimay, makadawat og 10 mil pisos. O ang mga borders o renters, makadawat og 5 mil pisos. Ngayon lang this WD nga, Kap, sa balaod ko no, nga, below 10 household, Barangay ra ang mukuan, mukuan, solder. Pero sa kanako ng mga kaldero, sila sa kuno. Muna ang kami, hindi ama ito yung mga konsyales. Ako nang gina na pagkakaroon, 2020 na maroon. Magbisaroon alam na sa 2021, basin tigor, alam na sa mga January, February ba. Kasamtangan gihikling ang mga nasunugan sa daycare center sa barangay. Mary Rose Segrino, CCT News. Update sa COVID-19 din sa Central Visayas, din sa Dakbayan sa Sugbo Kagapong at Lawa, doon ay unong kabagong kaso sa coronavirus. Kini, base sa report sa Department of Health, samtang Dakbayan sa Mandawi, way bagong kaso, lapo-lapo, tulo, lalawigan sa Sugbo, unong kabagong kaso, Negros Oriental, unong lalawigan sa Bohol o Sikihor, way bagong kaso. Sa kinatibukan, ang Central Visayas, doon ay 21 kakaso kagahapong at Lawa. DTI 
Sky 7, may pasidaan sa mga nabaligyo og face shield, gandili mo pasaka sa ilang presyo. Kini mo man nga gi-require na karon sa IATF nga magsulob ni ini kung galing mo gawas sa panimay. Ang kasayuran ni Hatun ni Patch Anthony Inso. Ni pasidaan ng Department of Trade and Industry kung DTI 7 nga tas mga namaligya og face shield nga dili mo pamahal sa ilang presyo ni ini. Kini human nga gimando na sa Interagency Task Force kung IATF ang pagsulob ni ini o galing mo gawa sa ilang mga panimay ang publiko. Pahimangno ni Ines Cahegas, Chief sa Consumers Protection Division sa DTI Cebu Province nga pabilin gihapon nga gipatuman sa Department of Health kung DOH ang suggested retail price kung SRP sa mga face shield. Hinon, din sa Sugbo, mahimong makapatong og just porsyento sa presyo sa face shield alang sa distribution cost nini. Lastly, I'd like to, inf to, to also notify the public, sellers especially, not to increase the price of the face shields, although this is not DTI's uh, domain, but we are helping DOH in, in monitoring no, and implementing. There is still that SRP suggested retail price for face shields, for non-medical grade face shields, for community use way back in August, but ang the, 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 the price range is from 26 to 50, and there's a 10% distribution cost allowed. No? Mo-apply rahinon ang SRP sa face shield ngad sa mga non-medical ng mga klase ni ini. Samtang wala ray SRP sa presyo sa ubang klase sa baong mga produkto. Gidugang ni Kahegas nga angay nga dili mo pahimus. Ang publiko sa sitwasyon, hilabi na karon nga padayon gihapong nakasinati ang nasud sa pandemya gumikan sa coronavirus disease 2019 kon COVID-19. Kwa lang, uh, DTI will be keeping our eyes on this, uh, the movement of these face shields the price movement as well as the supply of these face shields Di awag usab ni Kahigas ang publiko nga mo report nga ito silang buhatan o galing doon ay masakpan nga mga tao nga mo pahimus o mo baligya o mahal sa ilang gibaligya nga face shield. Fatch Anthony Inso CC Tianus Ni Mando ang regional nga direktor sa Mines and Geosciences Bureau nga si Armando Maliksi sa pagsuspenso sa operasyon sa Carmine Copper Corporation human sa netabong pagdahili sa yuta sa mining site sa Carmine Copper nga nahimutang sa barangay Biga, siyudad sa Tulido. Si Maliksi o grupo sa Mine Safety, Environment and Social Development Division ang miduaw sa site aro pagpahigayon o assessment sa sitwasyon. Sa labing uwahing kalambuan, upat na ka mga lawas sa mga minero ang naugkat o gano'n na pa'y unum ang namising. Human nga nahonlaki sa yuta sa maong minahan ni atong lunis ang management sa Carmen Copper. May pahibaw nga nakikalayo na sila ngadto sa pamilya sa maong mga minero, ingon man ang pagtunol sa mga gikinhanglan nga ayuda. Si Neil Sanchez, ang Pangulo sa Provincial Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Office, ni Butyang gaway kalabutan ang Bagyong Viki. Sa nahitabong landslide, kinitungod kay nakagawas na sa Philippine Area of Responsibility ang Bagyong Viki. Nahunong sa pagpaghatag ang Department of Labor and Employment o tag 5 mil pesos nga cash assistance ubos sa COVID-19 Adjustment Measures Program kung CAM. Kinihuman nga nahurot na ang ilang pundo alang ini Ang kasayuran ni Hatun ni Patch Anthony Inso. Nihunong na ang Department of Labor and Employment Condolence 7 sa pag-apod-apod o 5 mil kapesos nga cash assistance ganto sa mga empleyado nga napiktuhan sa impact sa coronavirus disease 2019 kon COVID-19 o sa COVID-19 Adjustment Measures Program kon CAMP. Matunilo Chaltaneza, Information Officer sa Dole 7, nga ubos sa ilang regular fund sa mga programa, may kabat sa 24,622 ka mga trabahante ang natagaan sa ahensya sa mga ayuda, din may kabat kini sa kapin sa 123 milyon kapesos. Samtang silang education fund sa camp, may kabat sa 5,819 ka mga trabahante. Gikan sa education sector ang nakapahimus sa 5,000 pesos nga financial assistance din may kabat sa kapin sa 29,000,000 kapesos ang ilang na-release nga pondo. Hinon, nagpadayon pa ang ilang nga pagapodapod sa camp alang sa mga trabahante nga nalambigit sa sektor sa turismo. Regular funds, di ay, as of yesterday, Tw tw dunay 24,622 mo nang depleted na ang funds. Under tourism sector, niabot og 4,934 ka mga workers. Sa education sector, nga depleted na sad, 
Nga butog 5,819 ka mga workers. So, sa tourism, padayon pa ta. Ang atong mga kauban, padayon pa nga nag-evaluate, nag-process um, nag sa mga applications na dawat na mo online. Awag hinoo ni Taneza nga ito sa mga nanarbaho sa mga tourism industry sa pagduaw sa ilang website o pag-follow sa ilang Facebook account sa ahensya. aron ilang masayran ang mga paagi sa pag-apply ni ini. Lakip ang mga requisitos nga gikinahanglan. Thing, those things will be done by the Department of Tourism. After na nila dito masettle, Department of Tourism now will, will, will refer them to, to the to the online, to the website reports that dole that gov that ph para mag-apply na sila. Hindi kinahanglan hinoon nga i-endorso ang ilang aplikasyon sa Department of Tourism kung DOT aron sa pag-verify nga sila nalabigit yun sa sektor sa turismo o naapektuhan sa impact sa COVID-19. Fatch Anthony Inso CC Tianus Nasag mo yo si Presidente Rodrigo Duterte bahin sa krimen nga gihimo sa usa ka pulis sa pagpusil patay sa manag inahan nga silingan didto sa Paniki Tarlac niadtong Adlaw nga Domingo. Si Duterte sa yang public address nga nanukad didto sa Davao City mitoke sa gihimo ni Police Senior Master Sergeant Junel Nuesca sa manag inahang Sonia o Frank Gregorio. Ang mga hitabo nag-trending o nag-viral sa social media, humangi po sa usa sa mga kaliwat sa mga biktima ang insidente. Napotos sa pagsaway ang suspek apil na ang PNP o gadunay ni Basol ni Presidente Duterte tungod sa matod pa sa pagsigi ni ini og dupa sa mga pulis bisan og ni abusar na sa katungdanan. Apan si Duterte sa iyang pamahayag miingon nga iyang nakita mismo sa telebisyon ang gibuhat ni Luisca o gwa niya kapugi ang iyang kaugalingon sa paghingan kaniya nga may sira sa utak. mga balita sa alas 12 sa ngayon sa Tanang Kaubanan sa CCTN News and Current Affairs, ako si Dennis Tabar. At ang ihang atong seri ko rin ta isyete karong alas 5 sa hapon hangtod na sa alas 6 sa gabi. Up next, ang Santos nga Misa Manukad Live sa CCTN Chapel. Daghang salamat.
next live coverage of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene Adnanit Avila and family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family. Together with our communal intentions, we pray for all those inten intentions who are included in this Eucharistic celebration, the intentions our loved ones have asked us to pray for. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Friends, let us now acknowledge our sins in order to make ourselves ready to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. And I, no, for my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever living God. As we see how the nativity of your Son, according to the flesh, draws near, we pray that to us, your unworthy servants, mercy may flow from your word, who chose to become flesh of the Virgin Mary and establish among us his dwelling. Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. Thus says the Lord God, Lo, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me. And suddenly, there will come to the temple the Lord whom you seek, and the messenger of the covenant 
whom you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. But who will endure the day of his coming? And who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire, or like the fuller's lie. He will sit, refining and purifying silver, and he will purify the sons of Levi, refining them like gold or like silver, that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord, as in the days of old, as in years gone by. Lo, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the day of the Lord comes, the great and terrible day, to turn the hearts of the fathers to their children and the hearts of the children to their fathers, lest I come and strike the land with doom. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lift up your heads and see your redemption is near at hand. Lift up your heads and see your redemption is near at hand. Your ways, O oh Lord. of the Lord, I kindness and constancy. Lift up your heads 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. From the Holy Gospel, according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the time arrived for Elizabeth to have her child, she gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown his great mercy towards her, and they rejoiced with her. When they came on the eighth day to circumcise the child, they were going to call him Zechariah after his father. But his mother said in reply, No, he will be called John. But they answered her, There is no one among your relatives who has this name. So they made signs, asking his father what he wished him to be called. He asked for a tablet and wrote, John is his name. Immediately his mouth was opened and his tongue freed and he spoke, blessing God. All were amazed. Then fear came upon all their neighbors, and all these matters were discussed throughout the hill country of Judea. All who heard these things took them to heart, saying, What then will this child be? For surely... The hand of the Lord was with him. The good news of our salvation. Praise, Praise you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Friends, the birth of St. John the Baptist is redolent of the theology that God has acted lovingly in human history in fulfillment of his promises of old. That's very clear in today's gospel passage. Overcome with great joy, saints Elizabeth and Zechariah gave their prodigious firstborn son a name which means Yahweh has shown favor or the Lord is gracious, foregoing certain customary practices of their culture. And true enough, my dear friends, if you have noticed, sacred scriptures attest that the precursor of the Messiah lived up to the dignity of such a name. And he grew up to become sort of an Eremite, someone dwelling in the desert, whose laser-like focus made him renounce everything he ever loved and everything he ever knew for the sake of his special calling, which at the time was truly dense and heavy with sacrifices for the advancement of the Paschal mystery of our salvation. So, unsa implication ani makaigsoonan? Christians everywhere must always consider the responsibility of giving a child a name. Naming a child, every child born into this world, this duty must be seen as truly solemn and serious. Siguro mangutana mo, why? The answer is so simple. Because we grow into our names making us identify with them, so much so that we can readily make them out from a given list. 
Pisag unsa kadagan sa lista diha. Dali kay mo makita ang imuhang ngan. We can discern with ease our names even amidst the cacophony of noisy distractions because our names have sweet impact on our ears. It's unfortunate, my dear friends, that in this day and age, the criterion for choosing a name for a child seems to be totally disparate from Christian principles. Ano na kaingon ko ni Anna? Kung nakabantay mo, what's the usual basis for the choice of a name? In this day and age, the more foreign sounding, the more difficult to pronounce, the more difficult to spell, the better. Even if such a name would be reminiscent of certain personalities whose lives are far from being ideal. So, tarungon yun nato, ha? Please, consider it a serious job to name a life born into this world in the light of Christian principles. My dear friends, we may not have the grand mission of John the Baptist. However, always remember this. For as long as we accomplish our respective duties and responsibilities in this world, according to our state of life, according to our respective callings, we can be assured that the hand of God is upon us. Kindly pray over this particular text, Nehemiah chapter 2, verse 18. Amen. Zechariah called his son John. God is gracious. Trusting in God's graciousness and generosity, we pray, Lord, be gracious and bless us. Lord, be gracious and bless us. That the church and government leaders may truly show God's graciousness by their loving and persevering service to God's people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, be gracious and bless us. That we may appreciate our Christian name and dignity and live up to our baptismal promises. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, be gracious and bless us. That families may renew their love, solidarity, and support for one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, be gracious and bless us. That the sick may receive comfort and consolation from the prayers and encouragements of their families and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, be gracious and bless us. That the dead may finally enter the home of our Heavenly Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord be, gracious be gracious and bless, and bless us. Be pleased, O Lord, to accept our prayers, the prayers of your church, for in your mercy you have given them to us. You have inspired our hearts to beg you for these. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Friends, pray that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May this oblation by which divine worship in its fullness has been inaugurated for us be our perfect reconciliation with you, O Lord, that we may celebrate with minds made pure the nativity of our Redeemer, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. <laughs> We give you praise, Father most holy, for you are great and you have found all your works in wisdom and in love. You formed man in your own image and entrusted the whole world to his care, so that in serving you alone, the Creator, he might have dominion over all creatures. And when through disobedience he had lost your friendship, you did not abandon him to the domain of death, for you came in mercy to the aid of all, so that those who seek might find you. Time and again you offered them covenants, and through the prophets taught them to look forward to salvation. And you so love the world, Father, most holy, that in the fullness of time you sent your only begotten Son to be our Savior, made incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners freedom, and to the sorrowful of heart joy. To accomplish your plan, he gave himself up to death, and rising from the dead, he destroyed death and restored life. And that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose again for us, he sent the Holy Spirit from your Father as the first fruits for those who believe, so that bringing to perfection his work in the world, he might sanctify creation to the full. Therefore, O Lord, we pray, May this same Holy Spirit graciously sanctify these offerings that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ for the celebration of this great mystery which he himself left us as an eternal covenant. For when the hour had come for him to be glorified by you, Father most holy, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end, and while they were at supper, he took bread blessed and broke it and gave it to his disciples saying 
Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, taking the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, he gave thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we now celebrate the memorial of our redemption, we remember Christ's death and his descent to the realm of the dead. We proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand. And as we await his coming in glory, we offer you his body and blood, the sacrifice acceptable to you, which brings salvation to the whole world. Look, O Lord, upon the sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church and grant in your loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and one chalice that gathered into one body by the Holy Spirit, they may truly become a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your glory. Therefore, Lord, remember now all for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially your servant Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, the whole order of bishops, all the clergy, the religious, those who take part in this offering, those gathered here before you, your entire people, and all who seek you with sincere hearts. Remember also those who have died in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. To all of us, your children, grant, O merciful Father, that we may enter into a heavenly inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles, glorious martyrs, and all saints in your kingdom. There, with the whole of creation, freed from the corruption of sin and death, may we glorify you through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us now complete our prayers and our praises by saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ 
For the, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. We now offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Peace, peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Beloved, behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are invited to partake of the sacred banquet of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but I only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. O oh my God, my only hope, I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed. Let us pray. Grant your peace, O Lord, to those you have nourished with these heavenly gifts, that we may be ready with lighted lamps to meet your dearly beloved Son at his coming, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Let us continue in prayer. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. 
Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick. Saint Joseph. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Saint Rock. San Lorenzo Ruiz. San Pedro Calungsod. Friends, what if our names do not in any way reflect Christian tradition? What if our parents have decided to give us highly secular names? Should we be sad? We should not. Consider it our mission to give that very secular name a Christian aura. Haron hopefully, kung gamito na pohon sa umabot mga katuigan, nindot nagmeaning. All of us are placed on this earth for a good purpose. Why? Because all of us are created good by the God who is the source of all good. And in fact, the only good. Please play or pray over the Gospel of Mark, chapter 10, verse 18. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Eucharist is offered. Go forth. Glorify God in your lives. Thanks be to God. is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicholas Padillo and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and Family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene Adnanit Avila and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and Family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and Family. Discover the beauty of the Philippines. With Philippine Airlines, the country's flag carrier. that lets you feel the warmth of the nation. Mabuhay!